Hello and welcome everybody, I am Herbert and in this video we are going to cover WSL, Windows Subsystem for Linux and we're gonna go with the Ubuntu flavor because this is, as far as I know, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, you can comment in the comments down below, uh, this is the only officially supported uh, Linux version that's on WSL for now. Uh, so we're gonna go with Ubuntu, we're gonna go with the latest flavor, there's different flavors, you can have the, uh, the 20.04 LTS, I think there's also 18.04 LTS, so there's multiple uh, options there, but we're first of all going to start with installing WSL. So WSL is a technology developed by Microsoft that allows to run a uh, quote unquote, you know, complete, it's not really a complete Linux uh, installation. It's not a complete Ubuntu installation, but it just gets the do jo job done just pretty much. And, and, and you can just run a sort of a minimalized version of Ubuntu on your system locally. Of course, it doesn't have all, as I said, it doesn't have all of the functionality because it sort sort of works in tandem with Windows, but it basically just gives you a, a, a terminal, a Linux terminal that you can work with. Um, so uh, let's go over to start for, ex for, uh, for starters here and let's just type in uh, features. So if you type in feature, for example, you would see turn Windows features on or off. So we can click that and we scroll all the way down to the bottom and we enable Windows subsystem for Linux. This is going to be very important because without it, uh, you can't install Ubuntu. So just uh, tick this box, click OK. And now it's going to search for the required uh, files, applying the changes. And once that is done, it's going to ask us to reboot the system. There we go. And then we just click restart now. I'm just going to do that real quickly and I'll get back to you once that's installed. All right, so our PC has rebooted. Let's go into the start menu and let's go over to the Microsoft Store because that's where we are going to download Ubuntu. Now, let's just type in Ubuntu. As, I, as you see, I already typed it in here, so I'm just gonna click here. And we have different flavors, like I said. So we have Ubuntu 18.04, 20.04, and just Ubuntu. Now, for me, I believe that Ubuntu is always going to be the latest flavor. So whatever the latest flavor on the Linux, uh, on the Ubuntu website is, is going to be Ubuntu. So you're also going to get the, uh, the, the versions in between the stable versions. So keep that in mind. And for me personally, I would prefer to use 20.04 because I only use these uh, the long term uh, uh, the, uh, the long term uh, solutions so the long term uh, support I mean so let's just click this one and let's just click get now of course if you want to use the latest version that's not a problem you can always just click Ubuntu and then you're always going to get the latest version it doesn't really matter all that much uh, the reason being is you know it's it's not really meant to be very, very stable. Uh, Ubuntu on your PC, you know, if you're running it on your desktop, it's not really, you're, you aren't really using it as a server or anything like that. So if you're using the latest version, uh, chances are very slim that you're gonna run into any, any type of bug because you're not really using it to its full extent. You're basically just using it as a command line. At least that's how I would see it. You know, if you're using something like this, don't, rely on it very much because it's, you know, as far as I know, it's well tested, but it's not really meant for production uh, stuff. This is really something that's being developed. So developers don't have to go running to uh, a virtual machine or anything like that. They can just run Ubuntu, the, the command line, the Ubuntu command line on their Windows machine. So that's the, I think that's, you know, the, the, the most important reason why Microsoft developed this. So you know, as you see, it's, 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 it's pretty quick. We install it, we can just click open. And now it's still taking some time to set things up. Uh, but as you can see already, it's just a command line and it's just going to function as a command line. And, you know, pretty much you can do whatever you want with this, but again, don't go using this for real production uh, stuff. So it's going to ask us for a username. I'm just going to enter Herbert. A password can be whatever you want doesn't really matter all that much and there we go we already have a 
uh, working uh, Ubuntu environment. So we can do things like sudo uh, apt, oops, sudo apt update, and that should fetch updates for our machine. And as you can see, it works in exactly the same way. So it's just fetching the updates here. There we go. And then we can now just do the same thing. We can just do sudo apt upgrade. And that will actually ask us if we want to upgrade. We do yes. And that will actually install all of the packages, anything, install all of the uh, uh, package updates, I mean. And so now we can actually test a few things. So like we can do vim test.txt. We can do hello. Oops. We can do. Uh, hello there and then we can write and quit and then let's see we can do actually pretty much all the commands that we can do in um in a regular linux environment and this is pretty much all you should actually think about using this for i would never <laughs> suggest you run a server off of this i mean if you're running a Windows server and you want to use a Linux server but you don't want an extra virtual box that's 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 not the way you have to think about this if you want to run if you want to run Linux on a Windows machine then you should be using something like uh, and you should be using something like Hyper-V as your virtualization and you know pretty much you're not going to be using uh, something like this to run a production environment never ever would you think about doing this. This is purely made for production reason, uh, for development reasons. This is made for developing apps, testing apps, so you don't have to ha have an, an extra uh, installation of Linux on your machine. So yeah, that's about it. Um, have some fun with this, guys. So it's, this is just something that I would suggest you, you use if you want to test something out, like if you're learning um, if you're you, if you're learning bash scripting if you are testing out a uh, python script that you want to run on linux uh, if you want to test something like if you want to test something like a web server or anything like that in a test environment you can use this uh, to to just test these things out without having to actually uh, install a completely uh, new virtual box which is very resource intensive you know for whatever you use it. If you're actually just using this for, for testing purposes, it's really very resource intensive to install a virtual box. And it's just so much easier because the command is uh, the command line is actually built in. And you can actually use the newest um, command line. So if you would do, if you would type in uh, command line, I don't know if this is going to be the uh, correct version. Um, let me see here. Uh, Windows terminal is the is how it's called. So Windows terminal is the app. If you search it in the Microsoft Store, you can find it. Uh, Windows terminal. I already have it installed. So this is the new Windows terminal that you can install on uh, Windows 10 and above. So you can click. I'm going to click open here, and you can actually select Ubuntu here as well. So you can have a uh, PowerShell window next to an Ubuntu window, and then you can have like a command prompt window, prompt window here. So using these in tandem is often very, uh, very, very handy because you have uh, in, in one tab you can have your PowerShell, your Windows commands, or you know in your command prompt you can have your Windows commands, and then you can have your Linux commands here. And you know oftentimes you need both because you're working on a Windows machine, but at the same time you're using Linux commands, and you know you know how it goes. So you have the option now to uh, get that into your um, to get that into your uh, new Windows terminal. So keep that in mind. That's always going to be uh, a nice to have uh, in the, in the uh, if you're if you're ever going to use it for development or or, or anything else uh, like that. So I'm going to uh, end the video here. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please leave a like. And if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.